Welcome to Health Matters at BU Sargent. I'm Chris Moore, Dean of Boston University's College of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, Sargent College. I'm one of your co-hosts for today's online conference. On behalf of Boston University and all of us here at Sargent College, welcome. We're thrilled and honored that you've chosen to spend part of your day with us today. We're eager to showcase for you all of the extraordinary things we have going on across our broad range of educational, clinical, and research programs. We're huddled in Boston's lovely Back Bay neighborhood on the banks of Charles River in the shadow of legendary Fenway Park. Sargent College, shown here encircled in terrier red, sits near the center of Boston University campus. In fact, most of the buildings that you see in this photo are part of Boston University. Maybe not Fenway Park, but the rest of them. Sargent includes a variety of academic programs unified by their common focus on human health and well-being. Our programs include more than 20 graduate and undergraduate programs across four departments, including human physiology, health science and public health, nutrition, athletic training, physical therapy, occupational therapy, which by the way is ranked second nationally by US News and World Report, and speech language and hearing sciences. Our graduates emerge into the world well prepared for a broad range of health-related careers and advanced training and graduate programs. Many sergeant graduates pursue careers as physicians. Applicants from Sargent College to U.S. medical schools enjoy a success rate of about 40%. Preparation in human physiology features a, ser a senior internship and broad training in human structure, function, and pathophysiology. Our career paths also include public health, speech language pathology, audiology, occupational therapy, nutrition and dietetics, and physical therapy, as well as athletic training. There are about 2,000 of us in the Sargent College family. We include about 1,200 undergraduate students and almost 500 graduate students. These incredibly talented students work under the guidance of more than 250 superlative faculty and staff members, just a few of whom you'll hear from today. In all sincerity, it's an honor and a privilege to be part of such a hardworking, talented, and humanitarian community. But what is it that makes Boston University's Sargent College so special? Sargent is a small college in a large university. Our students know each other. They know their professors, and they value the familiarity, stability, and intimacy of the small college experience. But their academic ambitions and career aspirations demand the resources and cutting-edge research activity that are part of a large, research-rich university. Sargent students hold on to their healthy skepticism. They're eager to challenge conventional wisdom, but are equally eager to discover and solidify their discipline's bedrock truths. They readily distinguish evidence from belief. At heart, all of the members of the Sargent family are here to fulfill their deeply held desire to make a difference in the well-being of their fellow human beings. Finally, Sargent students recognize the limitless potential of being part of one of the most intellectually vibrant metropolitan areas in the world. The formal and informal clinical and didactic learning opportunities abound throughout the Boston area. The Sargent faculty are internationally recognized for their contributions to their scientific to the scientific foundations of their disciplines. From futuristic work in exoskeletons, brain machine interface, and machine guided treatment, to basic and clinical discoveries regarding the nature of language development, the effects of obesity on a child's growth and motor development, and the biomechanical consequences of various therapeutic approaches. This is truly a remarkable group of scholars dedicated to their disciplines and to their students. The Sargent faculty is the best answer to the question of why Sargent. The values of Sargent College emerge from the combined traditions of Boston University and the college itself. Founded in 1881, 
by Dudley Allen Sargent as the Sargent School of Physical Training, Sargent became part of BU in 1929. It has grown over these 134 years to its current size, occupying all seven levels of our current quarters and looking for more. Our still climbing growth trajectory features a full range of outpatient clinics, research laboratories, and the full complement of state-of-the-art instructional facilities. BU is a member of the AAU. The intellectual environment presented by Boston University is extraordinary. The high levels of research activity and breadth of the instruction are in evidence by our membership in the AAU. Our academic programs number more than 250 at the university, with a student body of almost 33,000. Our research activities in 2014 alone attracted more than $350 million in grant awards. Research and clinical opportunities are expanded by our partnership with the Boston Medical Center, which is closely integrated with Boston University's medical school. So what do we do with all of these extraordinary people and extraordinary resources? Higher education in health and rehabilitation is no small issue in our world, of course. There are many, many stakeholders. Individual patients, of course, and also governmental organizations like Medicare, Medicaid, and the National Institutes of Health, as well as corporate entities like United Healthcare, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and others. Indeed, our society's collective economic and physiologic health are bound by these concerns. Our goal at Sargent is to wade into this thicket preparing our students to take their place as effective providers and influential professionals in shaping this complex future. We're energized by problems of this magnitude, these wicked problems, to use the phrase coined by Riddell and Weber. These seemingly intractable problems must be and will be addressed, but the solutions will depend on our collaborative energies, our focus, our wisdom, talent, and creativity to ensure that we devise a solution that's best for all of us. We're all alarmed by the Institute of Medicine's position that care that is important is often not delivered, and care that is delivered is often not important. What are the underlying reasons for this conundrum? We're unable to quickly generate the research necessary to identify what works best for which patients. Implementation of findings requires a narrowly focused and extremely intense effort to get this information into the hands of providers and health systems. Provision of care that is best for the patient's outcomes requires close coordination among multiple providers. The complexity of these challenges requires interdisciplinary research collaborations focused on well-defined objectives. What we're doing today in part is just that. By bringing together some of the key disciplines in health and rehabilitation sciences, we're supporting the conversation that will guide our work on these wicked problems. Our researchers will present some of the latest findings in neuroscience and development, for example. Our faculty will describe some of the unique approaches to teaching available to Sargent College students. Prospective students who are watching will gain an understanding of how they can participate in this enormous undertaking. And you, our online attendees, will contribute your experiences, questions, and collective wisdom in driving this conversation forward, providing the kind of interdisciplinary awareness and consultation that will solve this particular wicked problem. Our goal is to make today a true conference and not a one-way lecture. We enthusiastically, respectfully, and collegially seek your questions, your observations, and your recommendations. We will continue the conversation all day on Facebook at BU College of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, Sargent College, and on Twitter at BU Sargent. Please feel free to post early and often. Thank you for joining the conference. I'll see you online.